like she's put in such different situations than I'm ever put into, you know, she's going to run into a building with bullets. I'm running out of the building with bullets, you know, it's not. To be here in their place, to honor you. And due to your unit's great tenacity, exemplary performance and courage beyond the call of duty. And well, I'm really glad that Kim started out very new to the police force, right? So she's had a long way to go and a long journey. You don't start a job uh, and, and, and 10 years later, you're the same person, especially on a job where you see such wonderful, but also brutal things. Um, so I think that the evolution of someone starting a job as a police officer and then sort of hardening a bit and becoming a little tougher and maybe angrier, uh, that's, that's kind of the journey she's been on, but, but still maintaining her joy and heart, just less of it. <laughs> so the first season I had a job, I had a day job. I was a paralegal at the same time that I was doing the show. Because I didn't, as an actor, you kind of never know what shows will work and what shows will get canceled. And season two, Jesse Jesse Lee was like, "You have to quit your job," because <laughs> I was like kind of working all the time. And I realized, I think it, you know, working so much as an actor, trying to make money when you don't have acting jobs. I think I remembered season five. I was like, "Oh, I might not have to like get a job again. That's not an acting job, and that's really cool." I. To me that, you know, having hustled for so long, that was a real moment for me that took a while to get to like, oh, okay, maybe this job is my job now. I don't know. It's really cool. It's exciting when I get to travel and I, I like, I'm going to Mexico in a month, in Mexico City, and I'm excited. My best friend is Costa Rican and she, I'm going down there um, tomorrow to visit her. And uh, the fact that she like watches my show and like, I don't know, it's just like, she watches it the next day, but I don't know. It's it's humbling and amazing, and it's really cool that it's not just so local, but has like reached out to the world. I don't know that I've learned anything from Kim. I don't really think like that. Like she's put in such different situations than I'm ever put into. You know, she's going to run into a building with bullets. I'm running out of the building with bullets. You know, so it's not. But I, I think as an actor, I've learned that preparation is really key. Knowing everything that's happening in the script, knowing what your relationship is with everyone on the show, in the show, I mean, and, um, and then when you get on set, letting it go and just being open to the experience of what other people are giving you is, the, is, is gonna give you the best performance. As you're learning to create the character, it's harder to take the character suit off, but now we you can slip in and out of the character so, easily that it's it's less of a hardship um i would say more that it's when you have scenes like the two in the 200th episode you're just exhausted and a shell of a human when you come home to your family you're just like i'm, I'm going to bed i don't need dinner and so until you're out of it you're just kind of a machine todos están a la espera de un acontecimiento único doctor marcel ¿Sí? el episodio número 200 de chicago Un viaje del que tal vez algunos no puedan regresar. Lunes de Un Chicago. Episodios estreno desde las 21. Solo por Universal.